I've got a lovely bunch of coconut. <laughs> okay, so Andy suggested that that's how I start off, but even he's cringing behind the camera. <laughs> okay, stop laughing. <laughs> Sourcing a good coconut oil. Now, you may have heard some controversial things from the Heart Foundation talking about the dangers of coconut oil. That is like some seriously bad and nasty propaganda stuff, what I call nutritional media marketing, that is trying to discredit the amazing health benefits of coconut oil. And I think it's probably a little bit of an overcorrection, too, because the amount of information talking about the benefits of coconut oil, and don't get me wrong, raw cold pressed good coconut oil is a health food and it is amazing but the long list of things that it helps with I'm not sure exactly if it's like the most conclusively proven scientifically validated um, information from things as far as curing STDs to curing bad breath to helping with your teeth you know building your immune system great hair like literally there are hundreds of benefits claimed around coconut uh, oil. Um, I'm just wondering if it's, you know, if you lopped off an arm and rubbed coconut oil on it, would it grow back? We might have to do a study on that. I'm not, <laughs> not going to volunteer for that, but anyway, I exaggerate. So I just want to share with you how I choose a coconut oil. And there are going to be different varieties and brands. One, I like coconut oil that's stored in glass just a preference as opposed to plastic. Um, if you do get it in plastic, in, like in a big container, which I have bought in plastic, it's great to decant it into mason jars and then store it in a cool, dark place, uh, even the fridge, until you actually use it. One of the big things with a, a good quality coconut oil is that it is going to smell like coconut, so it's going to have a nice, delicate coconut smell. It's not going to be that really kind of strong, overpowering, almost synthetic kind of coconut oil. What happens is if there is no smell to your coconut oil, chances are it's been exposed to heat and deodorized, and there's going to be less goodness and nutrients and phytochemicals in it. And people do that because they don't want their coconut oil you know, flavoring up their dishes of coconut. Not, not a great thing if you're wanting to make an Italian-style you know, dish to have it smelling of coconut. I understand that, but your coconut oil is not going to be as healthy. Again, conversely, if it's too strong, it means that it is actually being heat treated and the coconut, the uh, phytochemicals, the aroma compounds have actually been developed and made stronger in the sense that the smell is stronger, doesn't necessarily mean the healing properties have made. So you want something that is cold pressed. If you can get someone who's growing their coconuts organically or sourcing organic coconuts, even better. You want it done by hand or um, cold, cold pressing. You don't want big, huge machinery making your coconut oil, and you definitely don't want it exposed to heat. That way, you're going to get the best quality coconut oil. And once you do, it's absolutely fantastic, and you can use it in a multi-variety of purposes and applications from topically to, you know, on your skin, in your hair, that kind of thing, to food and antiseptic properties. It has wonderful things. So don't be afraid to have coconut oil, but choose the right kind. The bad press is based on highly processed coconut oils and a lot of nutritional media marketing. So find the best that you can source. I get my coconut oil from the farmer's market. Not that the coconuts are grown locally, but they source great quality coconuts and they treat it beautifully. So they're keeping as much of the nutritional properties intact. If you're looking for a brand, obviously this video is done worldwide and I can't possibly list all the brands or even know about them. But there are a few that I would recommend quite comfortably and we'll list them in the description below where you can find them.